Now, Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, it really came down today in the coastal bend. Some areas, of course, had more rain than others, but take a look at Rockport. You can see how those downpours came through this early, earlier today. And now this afternoon, it's dry and it's just beautiful out there in Rockport. That uh, rainfall, though, certainly came down in buckets. And take a look at some of these totals. In fact, Ingleside, nearly four inches of rain. There were some localized spots that saw five to six. You can see in these light purple areas here. Uh, so certainly uh, a lot of rain in too short a time. That meant we did have flooding issues in places around the coastal bend. But notice the amounts really dropped off as you went to the west here. Only 1,600 drops out and a quarter inch at Kingsville. But those stripes were awfully close to some of these places. And we did see locally heavy uh, downpours in some of those. So the rain is pushed to the south now. We are drying out. You can see the sunshine trying to come out across the area. And it's a beautiful evening as temperatures are in the 80s. All right, so tonight we're still on the warmer side. We dip down into the 70s tonight. Notice the normal is 66. We're going to be way above that. So another warm night, partly cloudy, a quiet night ahead, and not as much wind either. That wind staying under 12 miles an hour. Tomorrow, not as much wind. It's going to be much lighter tomorrow. It's going to be hot. Ahead of the front, we'll see early sunshine, and temperatures are going to go up. We're looking at 90. Three at Corpus Christi tomorrow, 91 Mathis, 89 Ingleside, 92 uh, at Alice tomorrow. And again, watching that cold front come in late in the day, and that'll shift our winds around, and they'll we'll pick up. Tomorrow night, the wind starts to increase. Saturday, it's a windy day. Those winds coming from the north, gusting to 30, and then the winds start to die down Sunday. Still a little breezy, especially at the coast Sunday. Uh, winds, though, still will be much lighter. So that colder air continues to filter in. You can see it's in West Texas now. And with the front sitting there, that's going to gradually work its way here finally moving through tomorrow evening and that cooler drier air coming in behind that frontal boundary is going to wipe out the humidity for a few days and make it feel really nice. This would be a good weekend maybe to open the windows and take advantage of letting the fresh air in as there'll be plenty of it with those north winds this weekend. Alrighty, so here is a look at future tracker then all quiet tonight. This is tonight into tomorrow morning. Now we might pick up a stray coastal shower in the morning tomorrow, but most areas are going to be dry. You can see we have a lot of sun Sunshine. Here comes the front and it looks like it's going to be late afternoon to early evening. Um, it's not going to produce a lot of rain either. Very spotty here along that boundary and you can see a few more showers here that move through by mid evening or so. So for those evening football games, there may be a little bit of rain early on, but I don't think it's going to be very widespread. That moves through and then we end up with those clouds thinning out a bit. We'll still have some around Saturday and we'll have a lot of wind too. Now temperature wise, Saturday morning, we're dropping down into the upper 50s. Look at this. This is uh, Saturday early on, 59 Orange Grove. Boy, this may be a good day or even Sunday morning to get out and take a nice long walk with the dog. They're going to love it in this cooler air. 62 at Ingleside, 60 at Kingsville Saturday morning, mid 60s coast. Temperatures in the 70s. Nice day to take a jog, although You'll be running against some wind if you go toward the north. We have that north wind Saturday and very mild temperatures. Take a look at Sunday morning. Yeah, we're talking uh, possibly even dipping into some upper 40s near 50 near Tilden, George West, 54 Orange Grove. It's going to be cool Sunday morning and then staying in those 70s with partly cloudy skies Sunday afternoon. Tell you, this is going to be a nice fall weekend and Sunday with the lighter winds, I think may be the pick day. Sandfest is occurring this weekend, so as that wind will be picking up at Sandfest for Saturday, but it does look dry this weekend, although tomorrow, late in the day, there may be a shower. And look at those temperatures in Port Aransas this weekend, staying in the mid 70s. Okay, so here's your forecast. As we look at the extended, you see that big cool down for the weekend and very dry, but temperatures start to warm up next week. So for tomorrow, this cold front again we're going to watch that for the Friday evening high school games it doesn't look very widespread but a few showers will be possible it's still warm temperatures at seven o'clock at 83 but that front goes through and the winds change around and by Saturday morning we're much cooler Saturday at the beaches a lot of wind a low a moderate rip current risk as the wind will be blowing pretty good in those waves at five feet Saturday and temperatures in the mid 70s Sunday again a cool morning and a beautiful afternoon